How's it going YouTube land? Today we're going to review the 132 scale control tower and this is from Scalectric and this is mainly for slot cars but it can be used for Hot Wheels and when we get back I'll show you what it looks like on the inside. Welcome back everyone. So before I open a box, I want to show you what it looks like in the back. And these are other items you can buy that go along with this if you wish to. Uh, they sell the grandstand, which is just one piece right here, but they have three of them together, which forms a really nice grandstand. Keep in mind, these are 132 in scale, so these are going to be a lot bigger than a Hot Wheels car. Uh, of course, Hot Wheels is 164th in scale. Uh, they also sell the Pit Garage, which again is 132 in scale. And I also wanted to note that if you buy more than one of these, you can set these up in different formats. So as you can see up here, they have two of the towers together uh, on the roof. One has the grandstand, and another one has just another story with more windows on it. So it's up to you the way you want to actually set it up. But I just wanted to point that out before I open up the box. Okay, now we're going to open up the box. So I'll just already cut the tape off. But as you can see, this is what it's going to look like inside. Over here, put the box aside. So, as you can see, it comes with some really cool stickers. Yeah, Shell, Bridgestone, Fiat, AMD, Vodafone, never heard of that one, but I'm sure you guys have. Uh, Bridgestone, and of course, it's got Scalectric, which is the company that makes this. Uh, it has Scalectric Sport Digital. And I actually might use these on the wall instead of the tower because, as I said in a previous video, when I do have this all set up and already I'm gonna have our own personal logos on here and hopefully some of your channels on here too so I might just save these for other buildings in the race wall when I'm done alright so let's open this up okay so we're gonna take the stickers out first so again I'll just show you them up close alright nothing on the back it's just one sheet okay then next we're going to see is the instructions. So it looks like it's going to be pretty straightforward. So let's see, you flip it over. I'll show you these step by step. Then you got step one, two, three. Sorry for waving, I throw it by the air conditioner. Apologies. Here in Thailand, it's like 100 degrees every day, so sorry. All right. And now we got... Is that five, six, seven. Looks like a lot of steps, but it looks pretty straightforward. Shouldn't be too bad. Of course, if you hear me crying, that means I didn't get it to work. <laughs> we'll try it. And as you can see, it's going to be a 12-step process. All right, so that's, again, that's the instruction manual, which is going to be for the control tower. And now I'll show you what it looks like inside the box. Okay, so I'm going to take this out of the little inner box. I'm going to show you what it's going to look like. Get some more pieces. This has actually got a little bit of weight to it. So again, this is the reason why we got this one instead of the cardboard ones. They do make uh, 164 scale cardboard control towers, but as I said, we have Jason running around, so that's not going to last with a three-year-old running around with a cardboard structure. So we decided to go with a bigger scale, but it's going to be hard plastic, so it's going to last a lot longer, especially around him. So this is going to be the base. Let's see. Uh, I'm just going to show you the parts right here, and then afterwards I'm just going to assemble it, and then I'll show you that after it's done. Because I'm pretty sure you guys do not want to watch me put this together piece by piece. It'll be too long of a video. So I'm just showing you all the pieces really quick, what it comes with. Of course, here's the windows. I already come with the... Windows already in place. So that's one less step you gotta do. Okay. 
Okay. Both sides. And this looks like it's going to be the roof. Okay. And it looks like we got the top tier tower windows. That looks pretty cool. And it looks like the last piece over here, or should I say last pieces. Again, these are the, looks like the side walls with the windows. And this looks like perhaps, well actually this one looks like the roof. And this one here looks like the, uh, in between the first and second story, which is going to have the second story on top. All right, and now I'm going to put this together. And it's done. This had to be one of the easiest things I've ever put together. Um, this probably took me at max five minutes to put together. The hardest part was taking everything out of the bag. Every piece fit in perfectly. It was uh, pretty simple, straightforward. And I have to give this an A plus on assembly. So now I'm gonna show you what it looks like. I'm gonna spin it around. So as you can see, this is the front, obviously. And I really like all the windows. You can see through. I'm pretty sure you can take this apart again, probably put little figures inside so you can see them. And you can see the back even has a door. And yes, the door actually opens up. That's really, really cool. Pretty neat feature. Put the camera down. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit. Let's see, probably not gonna be able to see that much in there. It's dark. But that's pretty cool as the door opens up. All right, let me zoom back out. So as you can see, this is three stories, and it even has a roof on top. You can see the roof. You can put some uh, figures up there. You can put a helicopter up there. Anything you want to do. And it's got some pretty cool texture. And this is definitely very, very well built. You got hard plastic. This is not going to break that easy. Better than a cardboard, like I said. I, they do have one CC port scale cardboard ones, but they wouldn't last with Jason. This one at least has a fighting chance. And you can just see this one has the pieces that fit onto the slot tracks but I'm gonna see if we can uh, fit onto some orange tracks if not I'll just put it off in the distance you don't really need that and we'll see how it looks with the diorama uh, and now I'm gonna show you what it looks like with uh, Hot Wheels next to it so I grabbed Crescendo it was the first car I found it was in my son's little toy bin right behind me so as you can see the scale between the car and the race tower uh, keep in mind the race tower is 132 in scale and Hot Wheels is 164 but it still works, so it's not a big deal. Again, this is probably gonna be well behind the race ball. Well, the grandstand's next to it. And it's still gonna look really neat. So I'll just give you one more spin around again. Show you what it looks like. Actually, I'll show you the back too and the bottom. Bottom's just nothing special, just the base. Spinning around. And I, again, I really like that feature that the door opens up. Windows are pretty cool. You can see through the other end. They have like a red crimson tint to it. And as I said before, I'm not going to put the stickers on yet. I'm going to actually put custom stickers on it. And I'll save the other stickers for our other items that we're going to have on the diorama, like the race ball on the buildings. And let me get some figures too and I'll show you what the figures look like next to it. So for the first comparison I'll show you the 175th people. I assembled the grandstand last week and I glued the people on and this is what it looks like. So the people aren't that great of quality. Again these are Chinese mutant people. Uh, these came from China and they're exactly the best paint jobs on them. But they do the job from far away so I'm not going to complain. And this is the grandstand I bought from Full Circle Hobbies. I believe the price went up just a little bit. It's now like $8 a grandstand. 
But to me, that's still a really good bargain because there's not too many 164th grandstands you can get that are hard plastic, not that I can find. And so I'll put this side by side with the patrol tower. You see the difference? I think they go pretty good together. Um, again, I bought six of these, so I'm probably gonna put three in a row, and then I'm gonna put three on the other side of the track. And that's the comparison of the 132 race tower and the 175th people. And now to throw in the 164th people, this is what they're gonna look like compared to the tower. So these are the white race car, uh, race car drivers, sorry. <laughs> And as you can see, these are a little bit better quality people than the 175th. And just again, show you the comparison between them and the tower, and then them and the 175th people. You see them side by side. And it won't really make that much of a difference when they're far away, and it depends how you, you shoot it. It's going to be forced perspective, so it shouldn't be too much of a problem when we get the diorama done. But these are probably going to be used mostly just for up close shots, and these will be from far away shots. But yeah, just wanted to show you the comparisons. And for those interested in grandstand, uh, this is what they look like when they come in the package. You can see it's a small slot car grandstand kit. And this again is from Full Circle Hobbies. I can look them up online. It's a good company from Canada. And you can see it comes with the two stands separate. It comes with the little instruction card and the actual grandstand itself. And it's pretty simple. This gives you step by step what to do and how to paint it. And I followed that and it worked out pretty well. Pretty self explanatory. And again, this is Full Circle Hobbies. Uh, I believe these are around $8 now each one. And we bought six of these when they were $6. So we got lucky. Like, as soon as we bought them, the price went up a little bit. But I definitely recommend these. There's not too many grandstands out there that you can get for 164 scale, especially this cheap. So I'm looking forward to completing this. And that should wrap up this review. And again, I'll just show you the race tower. It's really big, so sorry it doesn't fit into the camera view. Like I said, this is a little makeshift studio I got on my dining room table. I'm hoping to have the studio done by next week. And that wraps up the review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. I'll be happy to answer any questions. And I'll see you guys soon.